When speaking of video wall realization, the preparation is the most important. Components of a video wall. Today's topic, the screens. Special screens need to be used on the video wall. This has different reasons. Even though from the outside looks similar to other TVs, there are substantial technical differences. Normal TV screens are designed for the daily use of up to 8 hours. Displays that are designed for the video walls are able to operate it 24-7. In addition, there are differences in the installed power connectors, for example, safety regulations and certifications for the outside use. Another difference is the brightness of the screens. Because whoever wants to stand out in the second communication of the 21st century should be able to stand out from the floods of information. By screens in the consumer spectrum, this number is usually 300 candelas per square meter. Screens for a video wall produce a brightness of between 500 and 700 candela per square meter. Outdoor installations will be equipped with displays up to 2000 candela per square meter. LED monitors are even able to reach up to 7500 candela per square meter. This high value is necessary to guarantee good image and visibility even in strong sunlight. Additionally, the screens for outdoors have to be sturdy built in order to withstand different environmental influences and weather zones. Large format displays versus the video wall. In the area of the video wall, two fundamental variations are differentiated. The video wall can either consist of one or be an arrangement of multiple screens. If it is a single screen device, we are talking about a large format display. For this purpose, especially large displays will be used, which have grown to be in high demand. Currently offered are screens with display diagonal measurement of up to 98 inch. These giants deliver even with their size a sharp picture and resolution of Ultra HD 2. Additionally, it is not rare that these large format displays are equipped with touch functions, which enable interactive content to be displayed. Generally, any shape or form is possible taking the screen outside screen dimension into account. Some installations contain gaps, which for aesthetic reasons are intentionally kept between the screens. Besides that, screens are able to be installed out of the regular group arrangement, so that the eye of the observer is simulated with extraordinary forms. Pop Art Digital. Welcome to the 21st century. This artistic and at the same time creative build-up is also known as artistic format and is especially used in lifestyle-oriented environments such as fashion stores. The main focus here is on the image targets and the emotionalization of the shopping center through highly visual content. For rather functional installations, art format is less suited since messages such as text elements are difficult to reproduce without losing content. In order for the picture information to be broadcasted on the integrated screen, you would use processors and diverse cables. Generally, the installations are mounted in a way that the observer can keep a significant distance from the device. Many of the displays have frames that create gaps in the image and therefore cause an optical break in the overall picture. This effect can be minimized through the distance the observer keeps to the video wall. The bigger the distance, the smaller the gap seen. With the right screen to success. The right screens are for video wall project essential. Since each installation is its own challenge, it is important to understand the pros and cons of the individual properties of the screens. The forward planning not only ensures the success of the project, it also ensures to better estimate the cost of the purchase and maintenance. In addition to the basic technical data, there are other factors that should be taken into account individually depending on the project. These include the viewing distance and angle, but also the ambient brightness. The location, whether indoor or outdoor, plays a major role as well. With regard to the choice of screens, the following options are available. LCD, LED and OLED. Additionally, we introduced the younger LPD technology that in comparison to the alternative is not as relevant to the digital signage market at this time. LCD. The abbreviation LCD stands for liquid crystal display. Hereby, the principle of the polarization is described by light through the electrical heated liquid crystal. These liquid crystals control the direction of the light with the help of the electrical tension. LCD panels do not have their own light power and therefore must be flushed. The monitors are equipped with LED black light technology. The LCD layer is in the background and produces the needed light, which shines through the overlaying LCD layers. The crystals react to the light and build the content up on that. The liquid in which the crystals are located is the reason for inertia. As a result, fast picture changes cause motion blurriness. 
That is a huge disadvantage of this technology since video walls live on moving pictures. TFT technique As of now, most LCD monitors are equipped with the TFT technique. Smaller pixels and larger amount of pixels are reached due to this advancement. This results in a larger viewing angle, which is a significant plus for video walls. At the same time, it is important to remember that LCD screens can have a weakness in contrast. The reason for this is the background lighting that, depending on full blacklight or edge blacklight, is able to control the crystals to perform more or less accurate. Even black tones can be less strong and the picture will seem less lively. The crystals are not able to block the light completely so that no black comes forward, only dark grey. Through this, the contrast is weak. Some manufacturers try to control the LEDs in the back in a way that the larger black areas will be darkened out. Brightness and sharpness. The lighting can be differentiated between edge LED and direct LED. With the edge LED variation, the LEDs are located on the screen edge. The advantage for the video wall lies in the very flat construction opposed to full surface black lighting. However, the picture can be less consistent and strongly illuminated. The direct opposite is direct LED. Through the consist arrangement of the LEDs, the entire screen area gets illuminated equally and a more radiant image can be produced. Edge LED screens are less expensive from the manufacturing standpoint and therefore more attractively priced at the direct LEDs. Nevertheless, when choosing, the priority of a better overall picture versus cost should be carefully considered. In conclusion, there is to say that both variations for video wall are fairly affordable. Altogether, LCD screens score higher in resolution and a good picture quality. Dull HD and UHD are the standards. A few devices are even able to perform at UHD too. This pixelation enables the sharpest pictures, even in close viewing distance. In video walls, the resolution is extremely important as the following example demonstrates. This video wall consists of 2x2 screens. These have the HD resolution. The incoming signal is now divided into 4 screens. This results in a resolution of 640 by 360 pixels per screen. Thus, the screen quality suffers on the low pixel example. If using UHD monitors on the same installation, the resolution outcome will be 1920 by 1080 per screen. Therefore, each of the screens is able to reproduce a full HD picture, which is now assumed by the observer as a matter of course. Bezel width until recently the bezel width was the largest disadvantage of screens. The goal is to have the narrowest frame possible on the video wall. The frames cause an optical grating in the motor. That affects image perception. But even here the manufacturers reacted and offers devices with up to a 3.5mm slim edge. Screens in this class, for example, are already built in control rooms, areas in which the observing distance is sometimes very small. We can conclude, the thinner the frames, the more expensive the end product will be. Therefore, the viewing distance of the video wall should be taken into account with regard to the frame width. If this tends to be bigger, the frame will also be a bit wider. LED module LEDs are not only used to light LCD screens, but also for the production of LED modules. These panels can be cascaded to generate a large video wall. LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. Colored panels of one LED consist of three diodes. This way the colors red, green and blue are covered. With these colors, every one of the 16.7 million colors is able to be reproduced. When adding them all together, one gets white. In comparison to the LCD technology, the LED panel can light up independently. The punctual radiation ensures brightness as well as the consistency of the image and thus covers two important prerequisites for the video wall. LED for outdoor area Brightness is essential in the outdoor area. LED devices are able to reach up to 7500 candela per square meter and therefore can still reproduce a bright picture even in strong sunlight. Another essential of a successful installation is that all displays light up evenly. The LED panels are leaving their competitors far behind. Tests have proven that LED models provide 97% consistency in brightness. The drawback lies in the low resolution. LED video walls are therefore more popular in the outdoor spectrum, stadiums and at events. Here it is ensured that the observer is keeping greater distance and the resolution is secondary. Pixel spacing The pixel spacing describes the distance from the center to the center of two pixels. With values of 3 to 25 mm, LEDs are not a measure of all things in terms of pixel density. 
The possibility of improvement has taken some manufacturers to heart. By now there are LED panels with a pixel pitch of 0.9mm. Thanks to this improvement the technology is now able to celebrate the move as a viable alternative for conference room installations. Especially interesting will be the LED screens through the possibility of seamlessly joining one another. In combination with the pixel spacing the elements are able to also point in the shorter distance. In order to sharpen the picture the LED technology supports the blinking and scanning process. With this either all or just a part of the LEDs will be turned off completely for a short period of time. The human eye is not able to process this change, which happens in milliseconds and will therefore perceive the image as even sharper. Lifespan Besides the high lifespan of approximately 100,000 hours, about 11 years, the panels are proven to be very energy efficient. The higher acquisition costs in comparison to LED screens are therefore counter to the short term amortization period by saving electricity costs and little maintenance. Additionally, LED screens are flexible as well as vibration and shock proof. These properties reinforce the use of outside technology. OLED The OLED technology needs in comparison to the LCD displays no background lighting. This is thanks to the self lighting pixels. Each individual organic light emitting diet ensures a point accurate color reproduction and produces the liveliest and most contrasting images of all the alternatives. Especially characteristic for LED screens is the deep black, since the light diodes turn themselves off and the pictures of complete blackness. The sacrifice of the background lightning enables a flat build of only a few millimeters on low weight. OLED screens are applied especially in lifestyle oriented scenarios on places of the openness since they improve the customer experience by lively image reproduction and their flexible forms. The still considerably higher cost as well as shorter lifespan of the screens let the OLED video walls compared to the LCD installations still occur seldom. Contrast behavior Since black areas in a motif are rendered by inactivated pixels, these sections remain black. This black is compared to the traditional LCDs especially deep, since every single diode is able to switch on or off. However, in the black light technology only certain areas can be darkened. A tiny part of the black lighting still shines through that so the color black can seem as a very dark grey. The picture suffers from this and does not appear as lively and color intensive as the OLED technology. But the organic substance loses the shining power followed by the color. Blue tones are mostly affected. Currently, these devices have a lifespan of approximately 25,000 working hours, about 3 years. That speaks for half of the lifespan of LCD screens. Fast images and soft curves. The devices can withstand reaction time of 0.001 milliseconds, which ensures a brilliant result even with faster movements. This value exceeds previous values by about a thousand times. Because of the thin design, OLED screens are more suitable for the curved form. This allows a astonishing project to be realized, especially in digital signage installations. Until now, the technology has not yet been able to confront the LCDs, as some of the disadvantages have not yet been overcome even with the great development. On one hand, the lifespan is relatively short, at about 3 years. On the other hand, the production costs are still relatively high, so that these costs are undoubtedly higher than the LCD screens. The OLED technology should be used as an alternative if the digital science installation is primarily based on atmosphere and visual simulation. This is true for example in highly emotionalizing business models. These measures should be balanced with that of the price. If the latter is the focus of implementation, LCD installations are suitable alternatives as they can also display extremely strong images through advanced technology. Laser Phosphor Display LPD is the newcomer on the market. PRISM, the industry leader in video walls from Silicon Valley, presented this technology in 2010 for the first time. A laser beam with the help of mirrors is shot onto the phosphor layer. This phosphor gives off a reaction of red, green and blue lights. Similar to the OLED displays, the black picture areas are not activated. This way a high contrast motif is displayed. Individual application examples can be found on the web, but this variation cannot yet be described as standard. The screens, which are based on laser technology, save up to 70% energy compared to conventional technologies. This is reached through low operating temperature, which excludes the need for additional cooling elements. This, in turn, lowers the operating cost. 
The high repetition frequency of 360 Hz results in flicker-free images. Just like LED panels, these elements can be built seamlessly, so that the screens merge to form an image without gaps. Another advantage is the elimination of motion blur. Additionally, the technology has a wide viewing angle of 178 degrees so that installations can be viewed almost anywhere on the wall. Another exciting aspect is the scalability of the elements. With these screens, installations with unrestricted size will be able to be built in the future could mean for a large interesting project. The lifespan can keep up with previous technologies at about 60,000 hours. This is approximately 7 years in continuous operation. The largest disadvantage is the mounting depth, about 40 cm space intensive and therefore for certain applications extremely inconvenient. The components used in this build are not poisonous and therefore recyclable. An extra point in sustainability. The acquisition costs are not openly communicated, however, can be requested directly from prison. When it comes to the arrangement of the screens there are little boundaries. The first boundary is to wait one week for the next episode of this video was serious. I have to say thank you for watching this video and I hope we see us next week. Bye bye.